One of the benefits of what Investor News does is sometimes we hear about companies and stories that are just so intriguing to us, we want to learn more. Strategic Resources is one of those. Sean, thank you for joining us today. Why are you at PDAC? Well, for Strategic Resources, which is a fully permitted project in Quebec, backed by the Quebec government, Orion Mine Finance, Ross Beattie and the Lumina Group, and in the next couple of weeks, we're going to release an uh, engineering study on phase one of the project at Port Saguenay in Quebec. So we're out here talking to investors and potential other partners about this project. Well, you know, we saw a lot of sizzling headlines recently, okay? Um, Strategic Resources announces the Mustavera project was selected for European Union vanadium titanium study. And of course, we follow vanadium and titanium. Why don't we start there? Sure. Well, Strategic Resources is focused on vanadium, titanium, and magnetite deposits. We have two projects, one in Finland and one in Canada. In Finland, we have been selected as one of two projects by the EU government for study to um, uh, basically uh, supply chain management for vanadium sources for Europe. And that's very exciting. And, um, you know, it's a non-dilutive way of moving that project forward. Mustaveran used to produce 10% of the world's vanadium. It's a past producer, and we'd like to see it get up and going again. I always like to ask the tough questions, Sean. How did you get this? <laughs> it sounds like too good to be true. How were you able to acquire this project? This project was acquired through a merger uh, between BlackRock Metals and Strategic Resources a year ago. Um, our flagship project at Strategic Resources is the BlackRock project in Quebec, which uh, is a fully permitted project to open pit mine to produce vanadium, titanium, iron, concentrator, as well as a metallurgical plant at Port Saguenay in Quebec, which is a deep sea port. Uh, as an aside, I'm a huge fan of titanium, but um, you, your most recent news as well, the headline grabbed me, uh, you signed a hydrogen and graphene coll collaboration agreement with Lavidian. Of course, we are very interested in hydrogen. Can you tell us more about this? Yes, so at, at Port Saguenay, we have access to natural gas and we'll use that natural gas in the processing of our minerals. But one of the ways to reduce the CO2 emissions from natural gas is to have it reformed into hydrogen. And Lavidian with their loop system has come up with a very innovative way to produce hydrogen at a low cost because there's a byproduct of graphene. So, and the other nice thing about this um, potential solution for hydrogen is that it's modular. So we can start small, build that into our system and reduce our footprint uh, going forward. Our goal is to get to a zero footprint and have the lowest uh, carbon emitting plant in the world for iron, vanadium and titanium. Well, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I'm going to need an infographic for understanding that last, that last deal, a byproduct of graphene. Did I hear you properly? Correct. Yes. And so it comes with, right now there's a collaboration agreement, but eventually this will be a full-fledged agreement with Lavidium, which will include an offtake for the graphene. So it's a revenue source to offset the cost of reforming natural gas into hydrogen. This company is new to me. Can you give me kind of an overview? How many shares outstanding? Do we have any money in the bank? I know you're trading on the Toronto Stock Ex uh, Venture Exchange. Venture Exchange, we have a $45 million market cap today, uh, you know, uh, roughly 60 million shares outstanding. Uh, we have uh, cash in the bank of uh, almost $8 million. Um, and uh, yeah, very well sponsored. We're 40% owned by Investissement Quebec, which is you know an arm of the Quebec government, which really wants this project built. I have to tell you, it's quite exciting. So I'm so happy that you were able to join us today. Um, can I, I ask you what shareholders should anticipate, say, in the next quarter or two? Because the last two news releases from just the last several weeks are quite different, diverse. So. In the next couple of weeks, we will be putting out a news release with the results of our engineering study for phase one of the project in Quebec. Um, so that's very exciting. Following that, we are working with potential partners on offtake. So uh, we expect that we'll have some announcement in the coming months 
on the offtake side of the uh, equation for the Canadian project, as well as the financial structure and financing backers. So we're working with investment banks, large investment banks, and lenders uh, on this right now. Can I ask what your background is and who else is on the team? Because, you know, this isn't for juniors from the financial market. It sounds like we have an experienced financial market team. We have a very experienced financial market team. My background is investment banking and mining, which I started in the early 90s, working mostly in Toronto, but internationally as well. Scott Hicks is our uh, executive VP corporate development. He's a member of uh, Ross Beatty's Lumina Group team, former BMO and RBC investment banker in mining. Uh, and we have Dan Neer, uh, who is our CFO, who was a mining banker at um, uh, uh, in New York, as well as in Toronto for large Canadian uh, uh, investment bank. Well, Sean, I, I find strategic resources fascinating. I think I found out about you through the Critical Minerals Institute. I want to thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you'll keep us updated. For sure. We're a proud member of the Critical Minerals Institute, and thanks for having us, Tracy.